The Confessions of Saint Augustine, Book 10, Chapter 8, Following There also meet I with myself, and recall myself, and when, where, and what I have done, and under what feelings. There be all which I remember, either on my own experience or others' credit. Out of the same store do I myself with the past continually combine fresh and fresh likenesses of things which I have experienced, or from what I have experienced have believed, and thence again infer future actions, events, and hopes, and all these again I reflect on as present. I will do this or that, say I to myself, in that great receptacle of my mind, stored with the images of things, so many and so great, and this or that will follow. Or that this or that might be, God avert this or that. So speak I to myself. And when I speak, the images of all I speak of are present out of the same treasury of memory. Nor would I speak of any thereof where the images wanting. Great is this force of memory, excessive great, O oh my God, a large and boundless chamber, who ever sundered the bottom thereof, Yet is this a power of mine, and belongs unto my nature, nor do I myself comprehend all that am I. Therefore is the mind too straight to contain itself, and where should that be, which it contains not, or of itself? Is it without it, and not within? How then does it not comprehend itself? A wonderful admiration surprises me, amazement seizes me upon this. And men go abroad to admire the heights of mountains, the mighty bellows of the sea, the broad tides of rivers, the compass of the ocean, and the circuits of the stars, and pass themselves by. No wonder that when I spoke of all these things, I did not see them with mine eyes, yet could not have spoken of them, unless I then actually saw the mountains, bellows, rivers, stars, which I had seen, and that ocean, which I believed to be inwardly in my memory, and that with the same vast spaces between, as if I saw them abroad. Yet did not I by seeing draw them into myself, when with mine eyes I beheld them. Nor are they themselves with me, but their images only. And I know by what sense of the body each was impressed upon me. Chapter 9 Yet not these alone does the immeasurable capacity of my memory retain. Here also is all, learnt of the liberal sciences and as yet unforgotten, removed as it were to some inner place which is yet no place. Nor are they the images thereof, but the things themselves. For what is literature? What the art of disputing? How many kinds of questions there be? Whatsoever of these I know, in such manner exists in my memory, as that I have not taken in the image and left out the thing, or that it should have sounded and passed away like a voice fixed on the ear by that impress, whereby it might be recalled as if it sounded, when, <clears throat> when it no longer sounded, or as a smell, while it passes and evaporates into air, affects the sense of smell, 
<coughs> Whence it conveys into the memory an image of itself, which remembering we renew or as meat, which verily in the belly has now no taste, and yet in the memory still in a manner tastes, or as anything which the body by touch perceives, and which then removed from us, the memory still conceives. For those things are not transmitted into the memory, but their images only are, with an admirable swiftness cut up and stored as it were in wondrous cabinets, and thence wonderfully by the act of remembering brought forth.